<laughs> All right. Woo. That is warm. God, it's warm. Okay. Ooh, that one cooked. Oh. Dude, it didn't even break. Look at that. Didn't burn, didn't break either. Ooh, that was a good one. Nice. All right. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's the point right there. So it works. <laughs> it works until that little bit of flash powder goes off inside there. Oh! <laughs> we had a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. Parachute totally failed on this guy. Oh, we got a little, got a little damage. I mean, that's about as textbook as it gets. Fire retardant ABS is actually pretty good, pretty durable. <laughs> Tailfins definitely took a beating. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Failed to fully deploy, but dude, it hit at full speed like full, full speed. Those fins are fine. Yeah, oh, yeah, it did. Oh, look at that. It did, it did warp the tubes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man, I think we got this one from Iran. It's one of them Iranian model rocket kits. <laughs> Yeah, the tube held up. Definitely a little, uh, a little warm. And yeah, it didn't really do so well on the impact, but like, all things considered, not like the worst, not the worst of outcome. Ooh, wow. I mean, boy, that might be our most picturesque one of the bunch right there. Man, this one flew nice and straight. And I mean, we did have some damage on the fins, but overall did a really good job. That Tough 2000 definitely is a bit squishy. From that, from that uh, parachute charge, but everything survived. The fins actually warped on us during the curing process. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, so what we thought was actually going to be. 
a design flaw actually ended up being really, really cool. How those, those fins warped on us there, those stabilizer fins. It, it induced a high-speed rotation to the rocket, almost like rifling out of a barrel. 